Welcome to another Slice of Sci-Fi video review. I'm Noah Richman. And I'm Darren Goldswick. Today, we're here to talk about... You are not fooling anybody when you say that what happened was a natural disaster. You're lying. It was not an earthquake. It wasn't a typhoon. Because what's really happening is that you're hiding something out there. The film starts in Japan where American scientist Joe Brody lives with his family, his wife Sandra and his young son Ford. Joe is a scientist working at a nuclear power plant. Uh, Sandra, his wife, works there as well. He has been noticing that there is a lot of seismic activity taking place around the plant, and so Joe is becoming concerned about this, and his concerns turn out to be founded, as there is a series of tremors that cause the, a breach at the power plant, and in the breach, his wife is killed. Joe becomes convinced that this seismic activity is not caused by natural causes and over the next 15 years becomes increasingly obsessed with researching what he thinks is a conspiracy being hidden behind the real source of this plant accident. 15 years later, his Ford, the young son, is now fully grown with a wife and family of his own and he responds to a call to see his father and winds up reluctantly helping his father to investigate the mysterious circumstances behind the plant accident. And in so doing, the father and son are both drawn into a conspiracy that turns out to be both deeper and much more dangerous than either had anticipated. God help us all. In 1954, we awakened something. Well, there's nuclear tests in the Pacific. Not tests. They were trying to kill it. You have no idea what's coming. So, Darren, what did you think of the movie? I absolutely loved it. I was just impressed by it. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was because of the last garbage Godzilla that we saw, the Emmerich movie. It was just, my expectations were low, but man, awesome. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Godzilla's back, baby. Mm. I know, I mean, I loved it. That's all I gotta say. It's, it's the best movie I've seen thus far yet. This coming summer, of course. So for myself, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. Um, I'm not quite as glowing because I do have some, I, there are some hesitations I have. I thought that it was overly long in its exposition. I thought there was too much focus on the humans and not enough time spent with the monsters. I thought that the monster action sequences were some of the best, if not the best, that I've ever seen. What did, you th what did you think about the, the look of this Godzilla in comparison to the oh, past? Oh, absolutely by far the best. Yeah. Um, not, not just the best Godzilla, but really possibly the best looking monster, giant monster fighting I've, I've seen. One of the things that I found really interesting was in the theater, I had moments there in the theater watching this film of suddenly not feeling safe. Wow. Uh, yeah, suddenly feeling like, okay, you're watching the disaster, and it just, it's so real that there's this almost moment of, wow, this, this could, this could happen. Mm -hmm. This could, you know, I could be in a disaster, facing a disaster like this at, at any moment. In particular, I really enjoyed the, the scene in J Japan when they were showing the nuclear reactors uh, to get destroyed and you know it was just a little too real it felt like you know that mirroring real life the Fukushima um, incident that happened a couple years ago and it just felt like 
my God, that really happened. And, and when you see it done in such a way on the big screen, it just looks kind of horrific. And they really did a good job capturing that feeling, at least for me, it did. What I love what the director Gareth Edwards did with this movie is that he would show a little bit of the fight, but he would just kind of segue into like a news clip. So you would see the start of the fight, and then it would just segue into this like a, a news bulletin or something. So you wouldn't actually see the, the fighting and the action of it, but it kind of created that whole tension and the pacing was really uh, rewarding in the end when Godzilla does finally, you know, come out and kick ass. Right. Sorry, I can't say that, kick butt. <laughs> yeah. I think you can say kick ass, but I absolutely enjoyed this film. I thought that this was a really good, really worthwhile God Godzilla film. I left this movie just with a big smile on my face. I just yeah. loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely give this one a, a very strong recommendation for anybody who sees the trailer and thinks that it looks appealing. Because a lot of movies, you see the trailer and we know that Hollywood makes great trailers, but a lot of times the films are nothing like that trailer. This one, if you see the trailer and the trailer looks appealing to you, go see the film because that's what you're getting. Yeah, I would say I would uh, concur with that. It's the like we, the original trailer we all were introduced to many months ago. It really created that excitement. Man, does it deliver! And so, yeah, yeah I, I would recommend this movie to anybody. Um, but but don't go to watch this movie expecting to be wowed by the, the story development. You know, the depth of characters. No, this is a Godzilla movie, and that's what you get. Period. And that's our video review for Godzilla. Thank you for watching Slice of Sci-Fi. Go watch it. <laughs>